From numerous science fiction universes, we see combat suits used to devastating effects, the most notable in recent times being the Titans in Titanfall. But are these mechanical Titans or practical military unit that can see potential use in the real world? Will they be replacing other armored vehicles in the distant future? I will answer all these questions on today's video. Alright, for those of you who want a straight, simple answer, no. Mechs are not practical in the combat situation, nor will they ever be replacing main battle tanks. But for those of you who want an actual explanation to this question, here we go. Bipedal mechs are not practical for a number of reasons. The first and most obvious being, they have legs instead of tracks. This for one makes the mech so simple to disable that any untrained soldier with any form of rocket propelled explosive could disable it in most likely a single shot. People argue that legs make it better for terrain, which isn't true in the slightest. Tank treads are meant to endure any ground it passes, and make the gun platform much more stable. Legs, on the other hand, will make any weapon the mech is using extremely inaccurate and very hard to control, and will also make it prone to tripping or falling over. Mechs would also be a nightmare to keep running. The legs will more than likely eat up fuel at a rate that will make the King Tiger's fuel consumption seem tame in comparison and the amount of moving parts that would be required to keep the mechs moving would prove to be a fatal weakness, as they'll have much more moving parts that can, and inevitably, will fail, and will of course need to either be replaced or repaired. Tanks and other armored vehicles, however, move with a much simpler system, using treads. The crew operating a mech would be in an extremely dangerous situation as well. If the mech were to be knocked over, which would be fairly easy to do, mind you, it would send the crew crashing to the ground, from a height of however large the mech is made. This 9 times out of 10 would end up with the crew being turned into a mangled mess. The amount of weaponry and supplies the mech could carry would also be very limited due to the already very heavy weight of the mech itself. This would of course vary based on how large the mech would be, but most certainly, the engine would be being pushed to its very limit just to keep the mech running without taking into account the weight of other supplies, ammunition, and weapons. This would no doubt limit the amount of said ammo, weapons, and other needed supplies it will be able to carry. Now, after bashing mechs for the entirety of this video, do they have any pros whatsoever? Well, admittedly, yes they do. Mech suits can be of great use in a non-combative role, moving large loads that normal humans would be incapable of doing. But even mechs being used in this type of way is questionable, as these things already exist. So, bottom line is, large armored mechs will never see service in the military as a way to replace tanks. Similar to the idea of hover tanks, mechs are a more expensive, complicated, and overall inferior concept to an already tested and proven way to deliver a heavy weapons platform to a battlefield. They do see some potential in a logistical role to deliver supplies, but even that once again is shot down by the fact that once again, these things already exist. Well this wraps up that quick little video. I hope you guys enjoy, and let me know what you'd like to see in the future. I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.